In this video, I'll share with you how to get clean audio and the best audio settings for your Canon M50. First things first, to get good audio, you should not be using the built-in microphone in your camera. Connecting any external microphone to the camera will boost the audio quality significantly even before you change the audio settings. I've also compiled a list of my video gear into a PDF, so you can download that. Link will also be in the description below. Once you connect your external microphone, it's time to configure the audio settings on the Canon M50 camera itself. In the settings menu, go to camera and then sound recording. We want full control of our sound settings, so we want to go from auto to manual. If you leave it on auto, the camera will try to boost the audio when things are too quiet, which means that when you're not talking, the camera will try to listen and boost the audio, making things louder unnecessarily. This will cause unevenness in our audio levels, and this is why we want to avoid the auto settings. All right, now go to the wind filter attenuator and turn them both off. You should only turn wind filter on when you're recording outdoors with lots of wind. Do note, however, that this feature will only work with the built-in microphone and do expect part of the low bass sounds to also be reduced. So overall, it's best to not rely on this setting and use an external microphone with a windshield attached. You'll get much better results this way. The attenuator suppresses sound distortion that is caused by loud noises. So if you're recording in an indoor environment like a room, and you have more control over what's going on, you shouldn't need this to be turned on. So just switch it off. Next, adjust the recording level. It's best to keep this as low as possible and let the external microphone control the audio level instead. Before you record any video footage, make sure that you observe the audio levels on the Canon M50 itself. You have to make sure that the audio levels do not exceed negative 12 dB. If not, there'll be some sound distortion and you will most likely lose audio data in the final output. Also, when you're doing your audio tests, make sure that you are checking the levels when you're speaking normally versus when you are speaking a bit louder. It's best to have some gap when speaking normally so that when you do shout or get too excited, you still have room to go before going beyond that negative 12 dB. Bear in mind, you may find that the volume is low when you're listening to your test footage on a computer. This is okay because we're configuring all these settings to make sure that we can capture as much audio information as possible. We can always boost the volume in post-production using our video editing software or any other audio software. This process is much better because you're not gonna lose any audio information due to any sound distortion or peaking. Just like how I'm adding this sound effect so that I get your attention so that I can ask you to like this video. Please. Did you know that you can connect this Blue Yeti microphone to your Canon M50? You can check out this video right here to learn more. And you can also check out the other Canon M50 tutorials I've been doing right here.